Hi guys, Gunchimp here and welcome back to the totally stunning Skyrim. Um, we're playing on legendary difficulty and we're going to try and get Amran's family sword back which is in um, Redoran's retreat which if I remember correctly is just over this hill. So uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Um, it'd be a good test for our new Nordic gear. If you remember in the last episode we uh, crafted a load of epic weapons. Uh, which also we also enchanted it with um, extra fortify archery. So um, let's see how we get on. I'm not going to bother raiding the place just like it's probably better to to clear it out first. And I think there's the first chamber. There's a dog. There's a guard dog. And there's also a, a bandit doing a patrol. I'm sorry Fido, but you're going first. Now I think his owner's been alerted, so let's uh, whack on some fortified marksmen. Hope I don't miss. Damn it, moved. Kill camp, and he's down. Excellent, watch, she's down. So that didn't go too badly actually. Quite happy with that. Uh oh. I hear voices. So yeah, like I said, I'm not really gonna loot anything just now. Just did about clearing the place. There's normally, I think, two here. One's a heavy hitting um, bandit chief. He's normally over there somewhere. You can usually sometimes see him through the gap there. With three beers the arc <laughs> Sweet. Now, what I'm going to do just in case with this boss, we'll put paralysis potion on there as well because it's quite a heavy hitting COB SOB <laughs> that's a shame that fire's not actually doing any extra damage to him but there you go <laughs> right in the ass so um, good way to check and um, we'll just check our map and see if it says cleared it does, so we know there's no more bad guys to worry about. So now we can just raid the, raid the place. Salt pile's good. I'm just going to take everything I can actually. I'm not really too selective right now. 14 gold, why not? It's not okay for weight. Um, find out our barbecued friend, what you had on him. Of an arrow, a lot of gold, and obviously, typical. We crafted this before, and uh, now we get it for free. But there you go, we can always sell it for a pretty penny. Let's grab all of that. And I'm just trying to remember the buttons as well. Uh, whoop, that's a nasty little surprise. And Amram's family sword isn't actually that impressive. Uh, but we've got it anyway. Now that is very nice. An ebony bow. Um, hold on to that. I won't be able to do anything with it for now. Um, until we unlock ebony at smithing. Which I think is about 80 or 90 even. Um, but we'll keep on to it. Ooh, that's nice. Need treasure map. And that looks like uh, white run. So we could go... Find that. Is that a skill book? So yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy as you can tell. Uh, we actually managed to uh, take down some bandits, which has got to be a first for this series. <laughs> so obviously, all the hard work with the crafting and enchanting is starting to pay off.
blister wall, which is useful for um, fortified smithing. Alright, so let's work our way back and uh, loot everything else that we didn't pick up. If I can find Now I should explain to you guys, um, you've probably not noticed because I've been trying to upload anyway, but um, I've actually changed countries, I'm not in Spain anymore, I've moved back to the UK, uh, which is good for the channel as it means I can upload a lot quicker, uh, I mean before I started playing today I uploaded another five episodes and it took about an hour in total, whereas before it took pretty much all day just to upload one, so that's kind of nice. Uh, and yeah, hopefully I'm going to get a couple more series going soon as well, not just Skyrim. Um, I'm thinking of maybe working through all the Fall, uh, the Far Cry. So I've got two, three, and uh, Blood Dragon, so that might be interesting. I'm also thinking of playing through Rage because I got through the first disc and then I kind of abandoned it. So it might be nice to to go back and check that out as well. But for now, we'll stick with the program and we'll stick with Skyrim. I've also, been, while I've been editing these videos as well, I've realised that I um, waste quite a lot of time um, in the shops because, um, to be honest, it's not really, you don't really learn much from it because most of the stuff that I'm selling is actually random anyway. What I'm selling isn't necessarily the kind of things that you'd have in your playthrough. So what I'm thinking of doing is uh, not showing you the shop part of it because, to be fair, it's pretty boring because, um, you know, I have to go through looking at everything, seeing what I want to buy, what I want to sell. Um, and all that really matters is how much we make out of everything. So I'm going to start editing those out as well. Um, and hopefully we can also try and get this a bit more combat orientated. Because it is quite slow. The last couple of episodes and I've been getting quite uh, demotivated by it all. By my lack of progress. But hopefully now we can press things on a bit. So yeah, that's that done. Um, get all this looting out of the way. I'm not even looking at what I'm picking. Pick up all these. Fly Mantis are useful. Bleeding Crown. Not um, I'm also what, what I'm also thinking of doing um, is going on the um, the ingredient runs off camera. So building up quite a large stocker thing because at the end of the day all you guys are really interested in is what you need to to craft certain potions. It's, I mean I've already told you where the ingredients are from. I mean you know that uh, Dragon's Tongue for example and Creep Cluster you can find around Kynes Grove. Um, so I'm thinking to try and speed things up a little bit and make it a bit more interesting. All the boring stuff like going for ingredient runs, picking um, Blue Mountain Flowers around White Run for example. Um, I don't really need to show you that, so I'll do that all off camera. Uh, the selling, like I say, I'll just go um, on random selling sprees off camera. So that all we've got is the gold, um, which is the important thing. As you know, uh, chopping firewood is really, really important. I mean, that's a really good um, source of income. I mean, it takes a while, but you're not levelling up while you do it. And you get a shed load of gold at the end of it. So I'm just going to quick travel to White Run. Okay, now it's night time, which doesn't really help me, so I'm just going to wait until daytime and we'll try and find Amran and hand over his uh, sword. Okay, so it's daytime, uh, we're in Whiterun, so we don't need the bow at the moment. And the first thing I'm going to do is go and find Amran, if I can, and hand in this. My do you get to the of course you do. No, no. Come on, Amran, where are you? Is that him? Yeah, there he is. Okay, so let's get this handed in. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Well, I've got your sword for you. How do you think about that? You found it! I've been looking for that blade for months! <laughs> you took on all those bandits yourself. You did look very hard, mate. Thank you. Here, 
My father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. Right then. Excellent. Right, so we've uh, leveled up 100 and also block by one level just by doing that mission, which wasn't too bad. Um, and that's it for this episode, guys. I'm just going to run around here, white run now, selling off all the um, all the loot that we picked up. So my gold's at uh, 6,146 right now. Hopefully it'll be um, a lot more improved when I catch you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care and peace.